It's summer in Taipei, and temperatures have reached a good 30 degrees. Humidity is at 70 percent. Inside, the air conditioners are running at full blast. Colonel Wang is the head of building automation at Siemens in Taiwan. The building has just had air conditioning installed, and it's Wang's job to make sure that it runs as efficiently as possible. After all, German business has high standards. Sensors have been installed to keep the temperature stable while using as little energy as possible. But the control room monitor is reporting a problem. Uh, actually, the third floor, is, uh, the temperature thinks is too low. And I think the set point should be re-justified. Because too low temperature means we provide too cooling uh, energies in the area. And that's waste energy. So that's why we, every, we, have, we will check the set point regularly to maintain the energy efficiency for this building. It would take an engineering team a whole day to readjust the system. But Siemens has no choice if they want to stay ahead of the cheaper competition in Asia. Actually, Fargo encourages uh, their colleagues using the desk light. During the uh, daytimes, they are turned on the ceiling light. But during the night times, uh, the ceiling lights will turn off. Wang asks the employee if he's using the desk lamp as well. The building owner is a legend in Taiwan. Tong Xiong Chao owns the biggest real estate empire on the whole island and is just waiting for his investment to pay off. We're saving on energy costs and reducing our CO2 emissions and water usage. We've taken on our social responsibility and we want to provide a model for climate protection in Taiwan. Our employees should feel happy at work, and the tenants in our apartment blocks should also profit from these improvements. His headquarters are LEED certified gold. LEED is the international rating system for sustainable buildings. The gold rating was quite an honor. The highest level, a platinum rating, was awarded to this tower. Siemens delivers the concept while others profit from the technology. Now we are heading to Taipei 101. And this is the extreme building, and we are facing a lot of challenges uh, to the operations because there's a lot of tenants in there. So let's show you how it works. Around 11,000 people work in this skyscraper, the third highest in the world. Ice is produced in the heart of the building to keep its inhabitants cool. This all happens at night, when less energy is being used. During the day, two dozen of these giant refrigerators lend their cooling powers to the building. I think the major benefit is corporate image, that we can also tell the world that we are now the world's tallest green building. And I think there's actual money saving from energy saving. That's really benefit, beneficial. They save 540,000 euros per year, to be exact. The Taipei 101 project is a gateway for the head of Siemens Taiwan. He expects it to lead to further regional commissions. So far, the building automation only contributes to 10 percent of the profit. Of course we have to earn money and uh, there are uh, different uh, developments. Uh, energy prices is one aspect, R uh, the, the, the legal framework is another one, which creates a kind of pull in this market. So more and more buildings need to be built energy efficient. So there is where we are coming in with our expertise in building technologies and energy efficiency. Mr. Wang has traveled to the top of the skyscraper to contemplate his vision. Here's the Taipei city, our city. A lot of buildings in there. And we hope my companies can promote more building automation systems, energy solutions for those buildings just like we've done for Taipei 101. 100% identification with companies is common practice in Taiwan. And Wang is prepared to take building automation as far as he can.